Hi, fellow crafters. Unfortunately, today I need to make a sympathy card for a very special friend. I want to let her know that I care about her and that I'm thinking about her during this very sad time. So I'm going to show you how to make a fun fold card idea. You can change the phrase to be a birthday card, a friendship card, or something much happier. If this is the first time you're visiting my YouTube channel, Hi, I'm Terry from NutsAboutStamping.com. I love sharing techniques and project ideas for rubber stamping, paper crafting, and scrapbooking with you each week. Be sure to hit that red subscribe button and the bell beside it so that you'll be the first to be notified when my next video goes live. Speaking of videos, be sure to watch all the way through this video for my bonus tips and design ideas. And if you would like to place an order for Stampin' Up! products and you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator yet, I would love for you to choose me. I will link to my online stores in the description box under my video. Now let's get going on this gorgeous fun fold. I'm going to be using several products in the Painted Lavender Sweet collection. And the paper, oh my. The hand painted designs were inspired by fields of wild lavender and the wild flowers that grow right beside it. I mean, look at the colors and the designs. Oh, I think this is just an amazing pack of paper. So we're gonna be using some of this on my fun fold today. And here is the bundle, the Painted Lavender Bundle, which is part of the Painted Lavender Sweet Collection. You can stamp a simple bunch of lavender as a focal point, or you can repeat the floral images to create a wild flower field as a background. I'm going to be doing neither on my card. I'm going to be using some of the stamps and some of the dies to create more of a 3D effect on the fun fold card. So let's get started. The first thing I want to do is stamp the stem onto some scrap pieces of basic white. And I'm going to do that using shaded spruce because that's one of the colors in the designer series paper that I'm going to be using. So I'm going to stamp, I'm not sure I'm gonna use all four, but I'm going to stamp four stems. Now the next thing I want to do is take the corresponding flower that goes with the stems, and I'm going to be using Gorgeous Grape and Highland Heather. So the first thing I wanna do is stamp two of them using Highland Heather, and then the third one I'm going to stamp using Gorgeous Grape, just to give a little bit of color variation in the little field of, fun, of wild flowers that I'm going to be creating. So there's those two. I'm going to wash this and then I'm going to use Gorgeous Grape. And the next thing I want to do is stamp my phrase. Now, I've already explained that I need a sympathy card, unfortunately. So I'm going to use the Softly Sophisticated Stamp Set and this phrase that says you're in my thoughts. This stamp set is part of Celebration and so you can earn this for free. And I will provide that information on how to do that over on my blog. So I've got the stamp mounted and I'm going to use shaded spruce, again, just to color coordinate the colors on my card. Now what I want to do is die cut all of these images out. So I'm going to do that using the corresponding dies, and I'm going to have to do this several times through my stamp and cut and emboss machine. And then for my phrase, I'm going to use uh, one of the perennial postage dies, and I'm going to die cut out the phrase like so. So I'll go ahead, go to my stamp and cut and emboss machine, die cut this all out, and then I'll show you how to create the fun fold. My card base is going to be Highland Heather, and it is the fun fold uh, part of this project. So once you have your card base cut, then you wanna take it to your scoring tool, and you want to score at three inches, and then you want to score at seven and a quarter inches. So score at three, 
and then seven and one quarter inches. And that's it, easy peasy. Now let's put this all together. The next thing you want to do is you want to fold both of these flaps in towards each other and that will create the card base and then you can burnish it with your bone folder. I'm going to take a piece of the perennial lavender designer series paper and I'm going to put it on the small section of the flap and adhere it down using my multi-purpose liquid glue. I'm going to set that aside to dry for a minute and I'm going to bring in a piece of basic white and I have another scrap piece of the perennial lavender designer series paper and I'm going to adhere that down on the bottom section of my basic white and you might be able to see it's the actual opposite of what I used on the other flap so it's the other side of the designer series paper. Now the next thing I want to do is take my three stems and using my multi-purpose liquid glue, I'm going to adhere them down onto the basic white section as well. Now you want to leave yourself a little bit of room in between these stems because then I'm going to be adding on the flower bits and so you want to make sure that all three of them can be seen. So I'll go ahead and I'll adhere these down and then we will attach the flowers on top. All right, now I want to attach my flowers. And what I did was I went ahead and added a mini Stampin' Dimensional, or two, to the back of each flower. Whoops. And I'm going to put the lighter ones on the outside, like so. And then I'm going to put the gorgeous grape. So these are the two Highland Heather ones. And then I'm going to have the gorgeous grape slightly overlapping them and sort of being the front and center part of this card or of this card layer, I should say. Like so, beautiful, hey, it's coming along. Now, what I want to do next is I want to take this phrase and I'm going to adhere it flat down onto this layer using my multi-purpose liquid glue. Now I want to take this layer and I want to adhere it onto the front flap of my fun fold card. And I'll do that using multi-purpose liquid glue. All right, it's looking really fine. Now I'm going to take some of the purple, I think they're called fine shimmer gems and I'm going to add some of these to just add a touch of shine and a little bit of sophistication to my card front. I'm going to use a couple of layers on the inside of my card because I'm going to be hand delivering it. I'm not going to be mailing it. So I don't need to worry so much about weight. And I've got this stem that I'm going to stamp using shaded spruce. And then I'm going to use Highland Heather and I've got these toppers or this little flower topper and I'm going to stamp that on top as well. And that will still give me some room to write my phrase on the inside of the card. And then what I want to do is take a piece of shaded spruce and I want to adhere these two together and then I'm going to adhere it on the inside of my card and I'll show you what it looks like. And there we go, my card is done. And a cute fun fold it is indeed. So here's what it looks on the outside and then when you open it up, here's what it looks like on the inside. If you would like a complete listing of the supplies that I used and the measurements for all of the layers, I will link over to my blog article. You can head over there and get all the information you need, including the product ordering numbers in case you want to order the Painted Lavender Sweet Collection so that you can use it at home as well. And if you would like a lot more other ideas for card making, then check that out when you're over on my blog as well. I will link to my blog article in the description box under this video. I'm Terry. I am nuts about stamping. I'll see you at the next video. Bye for now.